So you can scoot forward a little bit. <coughs> So your feet are flat on the floor and your spine is upright rather than sitting back and your hands can be in your lap wherever they're comfortable and we'll just take a few moments with eyes closed. So you can slow down your breath. And just consciously set aside the busyness of your life, whatever you've been working on, whatever you've been holding, letting it go for now. You can let your eyes open, keeping a soft focus, and feel free to open and close your eyes as it's useful for you. So let's drop the right ear over to right shoulder, and you can press down through the left shoulder, stretching left side of the neck. You might even reach your fingers down. You can lift or lower your chin, and just explore the different parts of your neck, finding what's interesting or useful for you. And then rotate your chin to your chest and come over to the other side. Both shoulders drop, but now a little bit more through the right side. You might lift or lower your chin, bringing the stretch into a different part of your neck. And then rotate chin to chest. Come back to the first side and go back and forth a few times. Little half circles or three-quarter circles. Next time your chin is to your chest, stay there. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Let your elbows hang down, stretching the back of your neck. And then release the arms. Head floats back up. And we'll lift the shoulders up and back and down a couple times. One more. And then bring your right arm up. Bend it straight back on itself. Grab your elbow and take it back as far as you can. As you do this, you can think about drawing the belly in, dropping the lower ribs down, so your elbow's being pulled back. And then the connection at the shoulder is being dropped down by drawing the belly in. Release right arm back up. Open it out and then take it across and you can hook with the other arm, hugging it in as close as you can. As you do this, draw back through your right shoulder so you're still square across your chest. Still feel your sit bones into the chair, sitting tall. And then release, right arm out, rotate your thumb to point down, wrap it around behind your back so back of your hand is at your waist, interlace fingers at your waist. Pull your knuckles around towards the front, elbows go towards one another, and then circle your right shoulder. <sighs> Keeping fingers interlaced, reach both arms back, open up the chest, and feel free to stay upright or fold. And folding could be just dropping your head or folding all the way over your lap. Let's release, come up, a couple big shoulder circles. Let's bring the left arm up now, bend it straight back on itself, grab your elbow and take it back. Drop the ribs, draw the belly in, and feel free to move around a little, thinking of each shape as an opportunity to explore. What's it like being in your body here now? Release, arm up, open it out, take it across, hook with the other arm, hug it in close, and as you do so, draw back through your shoulders. So you're still square across the chest. And then 
and then release. Arm out, thumb points down, wrap it around behind your back. This time when you go to interlace your fingers, try the other thumb on top, the way you don't normally cross. Elbows go towards one another and circle your left shoulder. Keeping fingers interlaced, reach both arms back, open up the chest, and then fold. Whatever amount, maybe reaching arms up and back away from you. And then release, come up. Shoulders up and back and down. Good. Let's interlace fingers in front and put some pressure between the arms like you're going to pull them apart. This can help spread between the shoulder blades, getting into the upper back, spreading the ribs. And then release arms out. Point your fingers to point up and press out through the base of your hand. Really reaching from the center of the chest outward and then curl fingers down, pulling knuckles in. And then start to circle your wrists. A couple big circles one way and then the other, flexing and stretching the little muscles of the forearms. And then release down. Let's take a gentle twist. Right hand to the outside of the left knee, left hand to the chair somewhere behind you, wherever is um, possible for you to reach. Lengthen and rotate. Each breath, see if you can sit a little taller as you inhale, twist a little more as you exhale. Keep going in this direction, but turn your head the other way, ringing out. And then release and switch other side. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Last breath here. Now turn your head the other way, ringing out. And release back around to the front. Let's cross the right ankle above the left knee, lengthen the spine, and fold. And folding might be just the idea of folding, a little tilt forward, or you might come all the way down to your elbows on your shin. Keep lengthening and looking for a stretch on the right outer hip here, maybe even dropping right knee a little bit. And let's sit back up, extend that leg forward, flex and point your right foot. Circle your ankle. Couple times one way, couple times the other way. Same thing other side, left ankle crosses above right knee, sit tall and fold. Keep going towards length, towards folding. Release, sit up, extend that leg forward, flex and point. And then circle, a couple times one way, a couple times the other way. Good, let's come up to standing. If you need to move your chair, you can. I'm gonna have space behind you and you can place your hands either on the top of the chair or the seat and we'll take the hips back almost like down dog. So modified down dog, a little bit easier on the wrists and less pressure on the hamstrings. And if you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you can bring your hands to the seat of the chair rather than the top. Pull the hips away from the hands, but keep the shoulders away from the ears. And 
Nice deep breaths. And let's come back up to standing with feet hip width apart. We're going to slowly lift the heels up and then slowly lower them down. We'll do this several times. You can use the chair the whole time or you could experiment with not using the chair to challenge your balance. If you want to challenge yourself, you could alternate feet. So taking the weight out of one foot and just lifting one heel and lowering and then switching. Nice and slow and controlled. So using the chair for balance or not, going one leg at a time or both. Can your breath be steady while you do this? You might have just the fingertips on the chair without any weight. Let's do one more time on each side or two more if you're doing both feet. Good. Let's take a balance and you can choose. If you're able, bend one leg back and take hold of your foot. You can have the other arm out to steady you or two hands at the foot or if you need the chair, it's there. If this does not work for your knee, instead you could do tree and the inner, uh, your foot could be anywhere on the inner leg from your ankle to the upper thigh. So you choose which balance you'd like to do now. Feel the foot that's on the floor, standing up tall, breath steady, face relaxed. And then release and switch. So same thing that you just did on the other side, either quad stretch balance with or without the use of the chair or tree. So the foot anywhere on the inner leg from the ankle to the inner thigh, anywhere above or below your knee. Good, let's release that. You can just pedal out the feet a little bit. And then again, take one more down dog, hands on the top of the chair or the seat of the chair, pulling the hips back, flexing the sit bones up to lengthen the hamstrings. Come back up and let's go ahead and sit back on the chair. This time sitting all the way back so that you can rest back against <coughs> the support behind you. You can rest your hands either in your lap or down by your sides. And we'll just take a few moments in stillness here as a final rest. Feel where your body touches the support under you, the chair, the floor, and let it settle a bit more. And you can either close your eyes or take a soft gaze. And take a scan through your body, starting with your head, and let go of any unnecessary holding. Can you relax the muscles around your eyes and forehead? Can you relax your jaw?
Can you let your shoulders release, arms just dropping down? Belly soft. Each exhale letting go a little bit more. You can slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, just bringing a little movement back in. You might circle your wrists and ankles. And you might take a big stretch out through your arms, well, like a big yawn as if you just woke up from a good nap. You can scoot forward on your chair, sitting tall again. We'll bring hands together at the heart. Taking a moment to acknowledge yourself, thanking yourself for your practice. Namaste. Thank you. Thanks for joining me for chair yoga. <laughs>